happening. You know, many of us, you know, we seek quick fame or popularity, immediate popularity, how to be popular, praise God, you know, and to, we go about it in such a way that we end up losing our, what, self-respect. Many, especially in the body of Christ, we've seen that there, there has been, you know, many, um, you know, churches, basically, or pastors or preachers of the word rising up, you know, in every corner that you you look or you check, you know, you see a church has sprung up, you know. But the key is, you know, in as much as you you aspire to preach the gospel, have you been called to be a preacher? Praise God. Have you been led by the Holy Spirit to open a church? Because the, the many will come to say, oh, you know, the Spirit of God has spoken to me to establish a church. Great. But have you, as a child of God, heard from the Holy Spirit that you have to establish a church? Because these are the things when sometimes you go about them, you know, you you have you have not really been led by the Holy Spirit. You have not given the mandate to establish a church. You go and open a church, and then now you start struggling, you know, in the process, you know, you know, to achieve or get members become a problem. And sometimes you may have the calling to be the pastor, to pastor a church, you know. But when you look around, you see maybe one year, two years, three years, you're going, you know. You're not seeing, you know, multiplication of members. Because you want to be popular, to be known that you are a great man of God. Sometimes you now start, you know, you know, doing things to undermine the work of God or the Holy Spirit. That is going by your own might and your own power. You know, we've seen so many videos or clips or, or, or saying, you know, men, women of God, you know, going or opening churches, you know, because you wanted to be known as a pastor. You wanted to be known as a leader of a church. But the key there is, or the, or the question is, have you been called to be? Praise God. Because when you are not and you try to do it by your own might and your own power, that's the time you go astray. You know, you now be, be feeding the members that God has given, or the, 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 the on, I won't say the unwise members that will follow you, because where <laughs> I sometimes, you know, you can use means like hypnotism, you know, because that's what sometimes some of these um, so called men and women of God they do. They hypnotize their members, put them in, in a in a trance-like state so that when whatever that you tell them, the members, they follow, you know, and, you know, to make yourself feel popular, to say, oh, this man is a very powerful, great man of God, you know. But then, because always truth triumph over evil, the truth will come out. So if, <laughs> as so-called man or men and women of God, you are not being led or being directed by the Holy Spirit and you use your own might and your own power or other means, you go and establish a church. No matter how um, long it takes, the truth will come out because light, the Bible says light and darkness, you know, 
cannot, you know, comprehend or cannot abide together. Praise God. So we're going to um, read a scripture. We see a, a, an example of someone who wants to be popular rather than aspiring to maintain their self-respect. They aspire to be popular and what happens to them. So we're going to read, um, we've, we've read, I believe some of us may know um, this particular individual uh, or we've come across, praise God, is in the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Acts chap um, chapter 12, praise God. Hallelujah. Act 12, if we read from, say, um, from verse 19, it says, And when Herod had sought or sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and there abode. And Herod was highly displeased with them of Tyre and Sidon, but they came with one accord to him, and having made Blastos, the king's chamberlain, their friend, desired peace because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout saying, it is the voice of a God and not of a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not God the glory and he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. Praise God. This is a just a, a short um, scenario. If you start from verse uh, chapter 12, it's actually um, Acts chapter 12 from verse 1. It talks about how Herod was persecuting the Christians, searching for them to kill them. Praise God. But then at a set time, he decided after he, he felt within himself because he has um, fulfilled his purpose that if I kill the, 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 the Christians, the early Christians, if I persecute them, I kill them, then I'll be popular. I will, uh, you know, my name or I will, I will be given, I'll be famous basically to be known that um, I am the king that killed you know, the, the, the Israelite, the, sorry, the, the, the early Christians. And also, moreover, at, at that time, you know, Rome was also governing, you know, Israel. So he was like under the direct rule of, of, of Rome. So if he showed the Romans that he is against the Christians, he will, be, he will become more popular in the eyes of what, you know, the, the, the Romans. So basically, what um, Herod did was rather than seeking to please God, you know, he was seeking to please what man, and that's what most of us, some or most uh, Christians, we do. Rather than you know seeking God, we rather or to please God, the way we, we we talk, the way we behave, what we do, our actions, rather the whether it is out of fear or to be, be to be popular you know with friends because sometimes friends because we want to be known or we want to be um to to fit in with our friends we will do things that our friends will ask us to do you know and in the end it we compromise our christian faith you go to the workplaces, there are so many Christians who have compromised their Christian faith because they want to be popular. They want to be known, you know. And what we, we fail to understand is that popularity or overpopularity breeds in what? Pride, you know. And 
pride is the downfall of man. Because when you become popular everywhere, oh, the people are shouting your name. This man of God is famous or this child, daughter of God is famous, that kind of thing. And what will happen is that you now, you know, become hardened. Because you are now seeing yourself that, you know, you, you are the cause that made yourself to be famous. You, f you forgot to understand that God, uh, the Bible says that God is the one. What? Who gives the power? God has bestowed the anointing for you to be a leader. God has bestowed the power for you to be wealthy to, or to be famous. But when you have, you've become famous now, your recognition, rather than recognizing or acknowledging God, putting God in the picture that God, you are the one that brought me to this place. You are the one that made me to be famous. You are the one that given me the Power to heal the sick, to raise the dead. You are the one that has anointed me to teach your word, to preach your word. What we do is most of the time we we'll sideline God. Now we now start, you know, invoking our own power uh, because we've allowed pride to come in. And in the end, you now start developing devilish thoughts. You know, devilish thought now that will lead you to be doing things contrary to the will of God. Because you have allowed a, a power to enter you to the extent that you, because you are craving that fame to be popular, to be known, to be well known as a powerful man of God, as a powerful woman of God, as a, <coughs> a prophet or a prophetess or archbishop or whatsoever. One time I said here, title in Christianity, title is worthless or useless I, I that is me saying it you know what matters is what you are doing for god in the kingdom how you are lifting up the name of jesus in the kingdom for souls souls that are lost souls that are dying to come to the kingdom so instead of you seeking, self-seeking, you are, you are seeking your image for people to know you, that you are a great man of God. What you have to be doing is to bring win souls for Christ, witness to people, sharing the love of God to people so that they too will come to know. But what happened? Sometimes you see some video clips that are being sent around. You hear a, 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 a pastor. I have, I myself, I watch it when I saw it. And my heart was crying inside me. You know, how can as a pastor, you put water in your mouth and you start spitting that water in the face of your members. And the thing is even entering, some of the water is even entering inside their mouth. You know, these are all what, uh, 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 what they call doctrines, doctrines that, you know, m men and women of God. Yes, there are, sat there are times when Jesus used unique ways, you know, like spitting on the, f on the ground, making mud and putting it in the eyes of uh, 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 the blind man. For him to receive his sight. You know. There are certain times. You can use. But don't use it as a doctrine. To become all the time constantly. Because when you, you start doing that. And what will now happen. You are now cultivating a habit. In the life of the, the, the member. That now the member now will not be associate, associating. The, the, the spirit spitting of water in their face that it is that that healed them rather than the word of God and the faith that they will develop in the word of God to know that God said in his word that he will heal the sick by his stripes I am healed rather they will not be looking oh my pastor this man of God is so great he just he spat in my eyes and what happened I received my sight Because you are, we, we are not, you know, I'm including myself because maybe I'm myself, 
say for may 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 have fallen short in that category using you know wrong doctrines to you know you know spread or help to 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 to, to use it to the, the body of christ you know and if <laughs> the focus as i said is in god the word of god herod what happened to herod rather than he would, he went to put on his royal robe you know and what happened he allowed pride that the accomplishment he has done is all down to him by his own might and power. So he wants to show off. He spoke in a way that allowed pride to enter him. And what happened immediately? He, he finished spoke, uh, speaking because the Bible said that the people, they, the people were not seeing man. <laughs> they were they, in their mind because of the way that Herod has hypnotized them. They now saw Herod as a God. And what happened? Because Herod has now decided or taken the glory upon himself. And the Bible says that God shares his glory with no man. God, you know, sent the angel to strike him. You know? To strike him. And he died of that. There's a Bible said worms, you know, started eating his body. Because the body, why the body? Because he allowed pride to, to, to eat his body. So worms now <laughs> started eating that pride from him. And that's what happens if you don't if you don't if you if you don't seek uh, uh, or put God in the picture. What happened is that your downfall is sure, and that is why you see so many in the, on the news, men, great men and women of God. Well, so-called great men and women of God. What happens to them? You know, they start falling. But they are all over the news, falling. You know. Fall in the sense that they are in, on the news for certain crime, you know. And in the end, the ministry that they started will just collapse. Because they've, they, they've allowed themselves to be operating, you know, under the, a wrong spirit or under the, uh, a devilish spirit power. And in the end, what happened? Because they want, they, they, you know, they what they call quick fix because that will happen quick fix when you want a quick fix something quick to fix and what will happen is that you end up losing even sometimes some will start some men and women of god will start very good under the anointing god will actually call them but in the end because they've taken their eyes off they they want to be known that they are Powerful men and women of God. They, can, they are the only one that can speak. They are the only one that can hear the voice of God. They are the only one that no, without them, nobody else can know the word of God. And what happened? They end up losing the anointing. They end up losing the, 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 the power of God that God has put upon them. And in the end, they end up losing their self-respect. The respect that they have. You know, they end up losing it because they 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 wanted to become popular, and in their process, they missed the big Mac. What God has called them, praise God. So it, this is my word of encouragement to us as a body of Christ, as men and women of God. This message mostly is for those in leadership those in authority hallelujah those that has been called you know stay firm if you know genuinely that your calling is true your calling is sure do not pursue popularity pursue the holy spirit pursue truth praise god and the truth will lead you into your way of success. Do not do shortcuts, cut corners in your ministry. When somebody, oh, let's go, let's go and seek power. You know, to add because my, my church, I only have one member, two member. 
is not growing. But you fail to realize in this day and age, let me tell you the secret. In this day and age, many members, you know, they would rather stay at home. Why? Especially in this Western world we're living in. Because most of them, they don't want to be paying their titan offerings. Because they feel that they don't have enough to pay their bills. You know, so <laughs> rather I would rather stay at home. I'd rather stay at home. It is not because you don't have, you the pastor, you don't have the anointing. But it is not <laughs> that you cannot teach or lead the, the church. But that is the mentality of your member. And the only way you can, you can help is to pray for them. But you can't go because they don't come. Then you turn around to go and seek uh, outside power that is contrary to uh, um, the, the Holy Spirit. Because you want to boost the, the, your church attendance. If you do that, you end up losing big time. Because no matter how you try to hide the truth, the truth will surely come out. And we, we are seeing classical ex examples. When you watch, you go on Facebook, you go on YouTube, you, you read the media, you will hear stories of men and women of God that we see, we think that they are powerful in, in the physical, but we are seeing the things, devilish things that are coming out. Some of the members that are in the same group or society or cultic group, they come out and say, talk about them. But when you are sure of your calling, when you are sure of your calling, you know, you will not, you will not, you will not lose heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. You will not lose that. You will stay steadfast in your calling. Praise God. You stay steadfast because the moment you foc you lose your calling you lose your focus you pursue popularity what will happen now is pride will start setting in because now you'll be thinking because you are not obsessed to be popular you are not obsessed to be known that this is who you are this is what you can be you know and in the end you end up you know falling big time you end up falling big big time praise god so it is my prayer and it is my desire, praise God, that as children of God, we shouldn't follow, you know, popularity. We shouldn't crave or be obsessed to be popular. Praise God. You know, if you want to be popular, be popular in the things of God. You know, in scriptures. Praise God. That's why in the book, or the last scripture in the book of Galatians, chapter one, verse ten, Paul was writing to the Galatians. He said, "For do, for do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ." Praise God. So here, Paul was opposing the theme of popularity to be known. You know. Paul was telling the Galatians that I am not seeking to be popular. I am not. And I'm not trying to persuade you men for me to become popular. Praise God. I'm not. Rather, if I want to, 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 to be popular, I have to be popular in the word of God. I have to seek and please God rather than men. Praise God. Because if he seek, according to what he say, if he seeks to please men, that means what he is say, saying that the, then he will not be called a servant of God. So any child of God, any man or woman of God, that you are in position of authority, you are a pastor that, or preacher, or, or as you call yourself, you've given a separate title, you, ple you try to please men. You are not a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is not evangelist saying it. It is the word of God in the book of uh, Galatians chapter 1 from uh, uh, verse 10. Praise God. It is <laughs> Paul writing, le being led by the Holy Spirit. When you seek to please man, when you try to become popular for man to know that you are popular, then you are not a servant of the, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And woe unto that person. When the day of reckoning, when you go and meet your maker and he said to you, be depart from me. 
you know, because I don't know you. It is my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Rather than we seeking to be popular, but we should strive to become popular in the word of God. To be known as a child of God. To, be, to set examples so that we be a role model as Christ is to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us seek to maintain our dignity and self-respect that when the world see us, they will see Christ in us in the mighty name of Jesus. This is my word of encouragement to every child of God that is or has listened or and is listening to Blessed Radio UK. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless each and every one of us as we've Listen to the word of God in Jesus' precious name. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Amen.